Oh, just stepped off the plane like that. It's like entering a sauna. Over 100 degrees here, I'm sure. And I'm wearing Vermont February clothes. Sweaty, but damn, how gorgeous it's here. Look at this airport. Amazing. just checked into the hotel. A local tour guide picked us up from the airport. It's me and two other girls already who met, but the group will be 12 plus people. It is so exciting. Everyone is so nice and sweet. And look at my room. Oh my God. This is like a palace. These details, I mean, come on. What? Oh, this is bad. Look how huge. TV, very nice. AC, very nice. Mirror with a hairdryer, perfect. The only one requirement I had for the room was for it to have a bathtub. So let's see if there is one. Nice, gorgeous. All right, shower or bathtub, make it fit. A bathtub and it's huge. I'm also so nostalgic when we were driving because I've traveled Asia so much, but I haven't been to Asia for 10 years. I've traveled when I was a photographer on the cruise ships here, Princess Cruises. I did many contracts in Southeast Asia. I've traveled all around Cambodia, where I'm now, Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia. Oh my God, I love Bali. So many places we went to, Vietnam. It's such a pleasure to be back. Coming back to places even moves me more than going to new places because it's personal for me now and I have my personal memories here, all beautiful memories. Wow, this is gonna be magical. I'm already sad that only eight days left. <laughs> We're meeting for dinner at 6.30. It's one of the girls' birthday, and we're gonna meet everyone today, including Hannah. Ciao! still dark outside. I hear the roosters crawling. I'm in Cambodia. We're going to Angkor Wat today by bicycles. That's gonna be amazing. My lifelong dream. I'll see you soon. started to call Angkor Wat since 1671 AD. So until today, we keep calling Angkor Wat. And it is the symbol of Cambodia. Visiting Angkor Wat has been a dream of mine for over 10 years. As you now know, I have visited Cambodia before when I worked on the cruise ships. 
Unfortunately, on the day when we docked in this area and everyone went to see Angkor Wat, I had to work that day. And I was so sad. <laughs> because Cambodia is not your most mainstream destination, so I didn't know if I will ever get to come back here and see Angkor Wat with my own eyes. Since Angkor Wat is one of the biggest wonders of the world and an architectural marvel and one of the most ancient temples in the world, I always wanted to experience it. That's why I even clothed myself to experience it twice. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> It is so magnificent and wonderful. I remember that day my colleagues came back feeling so inspired and happy, telling me how amazing it was. So I literally spent all my life since then wondering if I will ever be lucky enough to see it with my own eyes. And here I am, 10 years later. When I saw that Hannah Lee Duggan, a young woman that I admire in many ways, was hosting a trip to Cambodia that started with a visit to Angkor Wat, I did not hesitate. That was so meant to be. I absolutely love when life comes full circle like that. I watched a couple of documentaries about Angkor Wat here on YouTube and learned a lot about the engineering marvel of the structure as well as some of the Khmer beliefs. Even nowadays, with all the modern technology, it would still take forever to build something like this. So it's still a bit of a mystery how all this came to life. Amazing. Guys, this bridge is soft. It's floating. It's literally floating. It's inflated. This is so fun. This is the funnest bridge ever. Oh my god, what a great day. So I got banned from entering the temple because I wasn't very appropriate attire. And instead of changing, running there and changing back, I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna separate myself from the group and sit here and uh, drink cold coconut and have the time of my life. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, you all? I need some me time. I'm not used to be the part of the group when I travel. I always travel alone. So keeping up with the pace is difficult for me. This is my way of traveling, yeah. <laughs>
last temple of the day was Taprom Wat, and it was magnificent. This is where Lara Croft Tomb Raider was filmed by the way, and this is special to me too because I have a burlesque act devoted to that movie. We were all mesmerized by the ancient Banyan trees spreading their gigantic roots over and through the stone walls, on the roofs and inside the buildings. It was incredible to witness trees with so much history. The energy in this place is amazing. pedestal that was like a proof that the king is god yeah oh wow there we go Thank you for watching this video till the end. This is it for today, but please make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss on my next videos. In the part 2 I will be showing how we kayaked in a floating village, milled some rice and lived our best island lives where I also managed to open a little coffee shop. <laughs> You'll see. And last but not least, I did happen to fly Etihad business class there, which was mind-blowing, and I will be posting a fun review of that too. Stay tuned! If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you soon! <laughs>